Okay, moving on to question 8.2. That's when we start getting into similarity and proportion. I know this can be a bit confusing, guys, but if you work through your ratios and you understand what proportion goes to what, you'll be fine. Use colors, represent things with different colors. Okay, so 8.2 says in triangle ABC in the diagram, K is a point on AB such that AK to KB is three to two. Okay, so guys, this ratio, you can also say that AK over KB is equal to three over two. Okay, so if we put that on our diagram, AK, we don't know what the actual length is. We just know that the ratio is three to two. So the actual length is three times something. And the actual length of that one is two times something. N and M are points on AC such that KN is parallel to BM. Okay, that's shown on our diagram. Then it says BM intersects KC at L, also shown on the diagram. AM to MC or AM over MC is equal to 10 over 23. Okay, so AM, which is this whole length here, is 10, let's say Y this time to MC, which is this length here, is 10 to 23, okay? So, determine with reasons the size of AN to AM, okay? So, if we look at this triangle here, if I redraw it, we've got A, N, M, these sides are parallel, that's K and that's B. This we said was 3x to 2x, okay. Now we're trying to find a n, let me double check, a n to a m, okay. So remember, because one side is parallel to another side, the proportions are equal. So we need to use the same side grouping. So it would be equal to a k over a b, okay. So, AN over AM is equal to AK over AB. And your reason is line parallel to one side of the triangle. Okay. And AK, remember we said was... If you draw this on your diagram and you say 3x, then you can refer to it as 3x. So we have 3x over AB, remember guys, is this whole side over here, okay? So that is equal to 3x plus 2x, okay? Which is equal to 3x over 5x. The x's will divide into each other and we get 3 over 5, okay? So... That is saying here, a n to a m is 3 to 5. Okay, <clears throat> just remember, that's not the actual length, that's the ratio. So 8.2.2 says, determine the ratio, let me just move this up, of C L to L K. Okay, so C L is over here and LK is there, okay. So now we need to find, or we need to use the ratio that we've just found and implement it into one of the sides. Okay, so here, remember we said that AM is equal to 10Y. And this here is three to five. So we can automatically say that that is also a two there. Okay, so to find that length in M, remember, n m plus a n is going to give us 10 y because it's this length plus that length is equal to this whole length of 10 y okay so that means that because it's a ratio of two to three remember this whole thing we found was a total of five so that means that each of those units there is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4 so we know that nm is equal to 4y okay I hope that makes sense guys remember when you're trying to find a ratio you add the two parts of the ratio let me use a different color you add the two parts of the ratio 
to get you the total. And that means that there are five parts in that ratio, but this whole side is 10y. So if there are five parts and it's 10y, each of those parts is equal to 2y. And nm is two of those parts, so it is 4y. I really hope that makes sense. Okay, so now to get back to the ratio we're trying to find, let me get rid of this mess over here. We found that nm is 2y, okay? And we're trying to find this ratio of CL to LK. Now remember, in this whole triangle here, these two lines are parallel, which means that this ratio, CL to LK, is equal to this ratio, CM to MN. Okay, so let's write that down. CL over LK is equal to CM over MN, okay? And the same reason applies. Line parallel to one side of the triangle, okay? And CM, remember, we said was 23Y. And MN, we found, was 4Y. The Y's are going to divide into each other, so we get 23 over 4. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Remember, always try and work in corresponding units. So we said that along this side over here, we're going to use Y, and along this side, we're going to use X just to represent the ratios. Okay, so guys, when you get a diagram like this, establish which triangles have the parallel lines in them. Maybe redraw them like I did. I redrew the first little triangle just to get the ratios in front of me so that the rest of the stuff doesn't confuse and make it all ugly and messy. Okay, so remember, proportionality, guys. Line to one side, parallel to one side of the triangle, divides the other two sides proportionally. They have the same ratios. Okay, that's question 8.2.